Today on Bad Example Garage, imitation sheepskin seat covers, curb feelers, and a little bit of spring break 1987 Fort Lauderdale. I really haven't done much to the Datsun since I got it. I went ahead, I changed the oil, charged up the battery, changed the fuel filter and some of these fuel lines that were in pretty terrible shape. And generally it ran. It didn't run very well. The issue that I had was that the exhaust was plugged. I had heard of this problem before, but I hadn't actually seen it myself. Have any uh, nearly completely plugged exhaust. The car would not rev above about 1500 RPM. And as soon as I took a sawzall to that part right there and, and just hacked it off, and now we got a straight pipe and a nice smooth running Datsun. So let's take a tour of some of my favorite quirks of this little Datsun A10 wagon. I love these gauges, all angled towards the driver here. Oil, fuel, temp, voltage. Wonderful push button preset radio. Very uh, Japanese cigarette symbol here. We've got fan and defrost, AC, whoo, defrost, clock. Clock's not currently functioning, but uh, I'd like to take a look at that. From what I understand, I probably will not have much success, but we'll see if we get there. And last but not least, one of my favorite little quirks of this Datsun, when they're designing it, you have a normal horn button here. And if you look at the other side, Decided to just uh, keep the same button, but your your horn's upside down. And I want to take a moment just to marvel at how gorgeous the back seat is in this Datsun. It was underneath about three different car covers, but this is all the original vinyl. Not a tear, not a wear mark, just absolutely perfect. Headliners, few, few small tears in it. We've got two in the rear there, and one up there near the front. Originally, I was going to use a vinyl repair kit and try to fix those, but I've noticed that the, the, the vinyl pattern here I don't know if it'll show up on the screen very well. It's very unique. It's not a normal sort of fake leather type vinyl pattern that you normally see in these repair kits. So not sure what I'm going to do there. And while I didn't make a video of cleaning out the Datsun originally, I did save some of the treasures here in the back. So we'll go ahead and go through those now. And some of the best treasures that I was able to find here. First, we just have one of these nice wooden sun or cardboard sun frames here. Filters, belts, nothing too exciting in here. New for 1986, US trivia game. Let's take a quick look. Question number. 158. Who is known as the Wizard of Menlo Park? If you know, give a comment below. I don't know how this stuff is. Yeah, it's got three different ice scrapers and this awesome little carrying pouch. This is that front front trim ring off the headlight bezel there on the driver's side. I'm gonna attempt to to glue this back together and make it look halfway decent. Genuine Nissan seat cover. So, 
thought this was pretty outstanding here. I like that a lot. Let's see. I got my nuts covered at Mr. Hubcap. Quality. Windshield wiper refills. Could use those right now. These here are the front turn lenses for this car. I purchased these. These came new old stock to me. I had to pay $120 for just the plastic covers. So that got me thinking about what the alternatives could be instead of having, having it original. Got this beautiful Johnson & Johnson first aid auto kit. On the inside there. Struggle bus. Oh, look at that. Looks like a brand new, never used. Red Cross adhesive tape. All kinds of good stuff. Tourniquet. That's awesome. First aid insurance case. Huh. Awesome. Got some good old 1040 Valvoline All Climate. And now, I know you've all been waiting for it here. Corona Extra. Cross the border. Number one. And now the flip side. Spring Break 1987, Life's a Beach, Fort Lauderdale. We also have this cute little hidey hole here. And inside you find rear washer fluid bag. If you watched my previous video about building car scales and how I weighed Project Leonard for less than $50, you probably saw me pull it into the garage and it really was not sounding that great. Now I've cut the exhaust, that's the only thing I've done since that video, and we're going to give a listen. Of course now it's open header, so it's pretty glorious. Ooh, radio! All right, the only thing left is a little test drive. Runs. Oil pressure's coming up. Charging. Let's go. Open road for the first time. Inline six power. Listen to that. So good. Pretty good. Temperatures coming up. Volts look good. Running sixty, almost sixty pounds of oil pressure. So. This engine will be great for somebody, but, uh... Ooh! Heater works! My mouth! What? The AC works! You gotta be kidding me! Man! Oh, this car is too good for me. Ooh, brakes work? It's good we're five minutes into the test drive before I tried that out. So that's Project Leonard, the 1977 Datsun 810 wagon. Next time we'll cover plans for the future and probably actually get wrenching on this thing and talk about how you actually get started working on some projects. So, thanks for watching. And remember, no one's completely useless. You can always serve as a bad example. See ya! Curb feelers! Curb feelers!
They're like doorstops for your car.